three. Transported across space and time, our four unlikely heroes find themselves in a street carnival. We're heroes? Heroes? Protagonists, certainly. Better. Introduce yourselves in order, starting at the bottom left. That's me. Uh... Table isn't turned. To... For fuck's sake, you're all the same shape as me. It's Phil. Phil goes first, <laughs> then other Phil, then Rupert, <laughs> then Kiko. Fuck okay, away. from Chad Brad. So, I'm Phil, and I'm playing a character called Siegfried, who is an evil bastard, as far as we can tell. Seek Phil, please. <laughs> Seek Heil. No. Oh my god, what? No. Okay, um, I'm That's Klyka. Terrible. I'm Klyka, and I'm playing a character called Klyka Klykason, who is an 18 year old of noble birth, who is pretty much Batman, as my other oh, players have told no. me. Oh, no. He's more like Bang Man than Batman. He's more like anyway. Bang Man, yes. It's, it's like if Batman's superpower was in preparing for sex. Not actually having not actually sex. Preparing, exactly. Not actually having sex. Just preparing. No, just preparing. For sex. Just always being. He's always prepared to have sex. Start that's why Clyke has more dice more than the rest of us. Okay, Rufus. Yeah. He's got more game. Well, I'm not yeah. sure. What, I, I'm I'm, play, I'm playing Rufus, and I'm no way. I'm Rufus, and I'm playing Dominic Prick, a very flamboyant. What's the uh, <laughs> unique is when you have your balls removed? What if you have a third extra? Uh, then so you're a, a triballatron. So, well, yeah, okay, I'm sort of a testicular segue of sorts. Yeah. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll leave it at that. I Kiko, know. you're playing. Uh, I am, I'm Kikoskia, and I seem to be playing the most uh, sensible and down to earth character of all these people Judson Pont, a. Uh, <coughs> Coward. No. A trapper, an a ineffective trapper turned accidental outlaw who's also claustrophobic. Okay. Well, luckily, I'm you're in a street. Of a so no okay, so um, you four have awoken standing together in this street carnival, and unfortunately, all four of you simultaneously appear to have just been robbed by a departing figure making his way through the crowds and waving at you as he runs off. What has he distance. actually robbed from us? All of your money. I don't you are have any money. aware of the extreme lack of what little money you had well, you, in your belt pouch. Well, that's you don't right. have any money because you just got robbed. No, I have Bam. no money at all, so I've not been robbed. Okay, he took your travel gear. Okay. Your flint and tinder is making its way away on the hands of <laughs> no. some urchin. How old is he? Uh, from, as far as you can tell, he looks early teens. Anyway. Early teens wearing soft, a, we a generic urchin flat cap. With an appropriately sooty face. Oh, well, How as I his skull? since I noticed that I got robbed, I of course try to run after the man or after the the thing that that robbed me. <laughs> after the thing. My my intent is to <coughs> chase down this urchin. Okay, yeah. so how, what do you what are you guys actually going to take? Kiko and Clyke are chasing. Rufus, yeah, so what are you definitely doing? chasing. Well, uh, d did we see the guy stealing other stuff? All of us uh, did we notice him. Well, you, you you know that you're much lighter, and it must look. He looks like a fucking urchin thief, but he's holding something. Okay, uh, I, I don't. It's a severed uh, head. I see. Cli oh. uh, I see. Klyka and Kikoska start running, so I immediately assume they have t taken my flint and thunder, and I, I start chasing them. Okay. Um. So what this means is you chaps are all going to have to take speed tests. Ah. Yay. I have a speed of four. So. This urchin is speed five. Cause he's a wizard. Okay, wizard, I have a speed fast. I have a speed I'll, of four, I'll, so. I'll have to alt tab. Hold on. I'll tab okay, everybody get your dice together. We're going to throw it once. Let's do this. Well, I got two successes. I've got I don't know what my successes. speed is. I'm, I'm a cunt. I this have to find my Google Docs. This guy got four. <laughs> the urchin got four. You guys got wasted by this urchin. Well, Jesus. left in the dirt. Yeah, we uh, we failed horribly there. <laughs> hold on. I, I gotta. I gotta. I, I gotta see what my speed is. Not fast enough at the rate this is going. Where the fuck is it? It's in here. Speed four. Okay, that's better than any of you cunts. Actually, mine's the same as yours, and you got less Thank successes you, than me. I got two. Okay, now. DM, DM gave Rupert a shit roll. Okay. Thank you. If, you, if your intent was to catch up with him, you have sorely failed. And the last you see of him are his legs vanishing around into an alleyway between two rather large... It looks like it's some type of street carnival. There are large banners festooning the walls. And this alleyway is clearly a lot darker than the surrounding. This is, this is a period when the buildings would build together as they got closer up. As they well, got further up. So if you go to this alley, it's going to be really fucking dark. And he's, that's his the rest of him go with him, or was it just his oh, legs? Only his this, legs. This is a cramped oh. alley, isn't it? Oh, yeah. yes, it is. It's dark. 
uh, city guard wise? What do I know about the area? Yeah. Um, about this, we, you know, at a carnival, they're probably going to have guards posted at each intersection. A couple of them, but to be honest, they're too busy just hanging out, looking around, drinking beer, and generally not giving a shit to do uh, anything. Seeing how my character grew up in in a town that is very similar to this, he knows that these kind of elevate, uh, alleyways always intersect with another street. So I'm trying to instead of going through the elevate, uh, ele alleyway, I'm trying to go uh, like around to catch the. I'm ocean afraid on the other this side. is a wise you don't have. You're going to have to make beginner's luck. Oh. Ooh, this is going to be beginner's luck. <sighs> Let's say alley wise. <laughs> alley wise. Okay. Okay, let's do this. This is surprisingly useful. Alley wise. Get you a so, lot getting a while. What do I throw? What do I have to throw? Okay. Ordinarily I would take this as an obstacle two, but this okay. is obstacle four versus whatever your perception is. My perception. Um I have a perception of four, so Okay. So four versus four. You need to get four successes. I no! Okay. <laughs> um can I use something on the last roll? You certainly you could use um a persona point to get yourself an extra die. Um. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. I'll get the extra die. I'll re-roll this one. I'll use one persona point. Ah! Oh! Damn it! Okay, it turns out, despite the interference of faith, of fate, um, it does not turn turn out to be true, and um, it turns out that this alleyway is in fact not accessible via another route. Do I now write I... the skill down as one persona point? Please? No, that would that would go one persona point into your perception skill. I... Sorry, into your perception stat. I yeah. would. Would go down into that alleyway, but I'm gonna need to have to muster up my courage to actually be able to go down there. Well, first you could look down Which it. Uh, so, yes, I will look down it. Hold on a sec. Um, you still, do you still travel and gear from all of us, or just from Kiko? He's, as far as you can tell, all of you are missing some some items. Do I have flint and tinder from my traveling gear? Uh, let's say what money you had is gone. <clears throat> okay, so I'm gonna try and strike up a light then. It's not that dark. I mean, it's still daylight, right? There's still reflected light. Oh. It's just what time of day is it? <clears throat> it's, it is, it's midday. It's, you know, this is a, a street carnival. Lots of people. Well, lots of noise. Lots of hubbub. Nobody giving a shit about what you lot are doing. Firstly, I'm looking down there. <laughs> okay. uh, I'm going to look at all the possible ways, like doors, windows that you could have gone for. You look down an alley, and what you see is you see a rickety struck superstructure on the outside of these buildings, moving upwards towards what looks like. Um, at the very top, just as the buildings appear to touch each other, there's a route through that he appears to be going for. And there's a superstructure of steps and rickety boards knocked together that he appears to be climbing in order to escape you. Because he knows, Only he knows if we had some sort of Batman-type <laughs> character who could shoot his sword blade up. Unfortunately, the, the only person with a ranged weapon is me, and that I'm not true. shooting him. Could I climb up there? Well, do, you we, certainly do we see him? Do we, do we see I him will, fucking around I will there? try to climb up there carefully. Okay, Keep because, because carefully, you guys... wait, wait, carefully and patiently. Hang on. Okay, if you do that, you're going to be slow and you won't catch him. Oh, okay, then I'll just climb up. Okay, what, what, do, you do, going... see, do we see him up there? Can we see him? Hmm? Um, what you you, you can see him climbing up there, but the key point is, okay. like, you could choose to do this quickly, in which case you'll get closer to him, but then the risk is if you fuck it up, you'll probably fall or something like that. Right. Okay. I I would like to assist Kleiker by taking the nearest thing and throwing up there, see if I can uh, slow the, I... the key. I'm going to have to steal my nerve to even go into the alleyway at all. Okay, so the actions that we're taking, Kleiker's climbing, Rufus throwing, Kiko's yep. stealing, can and you, Phil is... Can you look... Like, could you get to the superstructure at all if you went into the houses? Uh, oh, yeah, if you, if you, as far as you can tell, those houses must... If you went in and up there, you could probably get somewhere up there, pretty close. Certainly you could climb out a window onto it. <clears throat> Okay, uh, so I do my Okay, climbing. so I checked to see if any, any of the houses look sort of dilapidated or possibly uninhabited. Okay, so first we'll go with Phil's um, perception check. So you're going to do a perception check, or you're looking for houses which are uninhabited, and to be honest, I think this is pretty difficult because it's pretty hard to tell during the day from the outside which houses are uninhabited. Um, so I'm going to say this is, to be honest, obstacle. Anything like broken windows, that kind of stuff. Oh. So four. Okay, no. Two successes, I guess? Okay, yeah. no idea. So you can't tell. By the way, note you don't you don't write down perception checks unless you succeed because when you don't see anything, you learn nothing. All <laughs> oh, right. It is it is right that I wrote down perception. Yes, one it is because that wasn't a, because that wasn't a straightforward perception test. Ah, oh, okay. So if you if you're um, learning if you're beginners lacking skills which root off perception, you still get the perception test even if you fail. Oh, I see. <clears throat> okay, so I try to climb up there. So okay. I have a climb. I have a climbing skill of two. Okay, this is obstacle two. Like so, it's 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 clear, it's climbable, but it's it's not straightforward. You know, this isn't like a step ladder or something. Does he? Yeah, the climb skills I recall as well. Yeah, it is two. two. So it's yeah. two versus two. No. Nope. Ah. 
Um, okay, what again, that, what, I what, use... what this means is this means that at the moment you you are getting up there. It's not like you're you're falling off or anything because you didn't choose to do it too quickly. It's just you're clearly going at a slower rate than he does. He's smaller, right. lighter, and has done this before. Clearly, I, I am I am again going to use a point to get. <laughs> well, there are two other people that still need to make an action. All right. That's oh, no, no, he can. To be yeah, fair, but, um, to be fair, Arthur resolves as the roll does. Okay. If he wants but to he spend wants Arthur, to use Arthur, yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay, three. I don't know. Actually, no, no, it's fine. I'm not using That's a point. Cool. I'm, I'm getting up there, but I'm not going to catch him then. Cool. Okay. Roof it. Uh, I toss. That's three. <laughs> you toss. You, you vigorously toss. Um, you're using your throwing skill, which is That's three. three. Uh, are you going to do this in any particular way, or are you just going to do it, just throw it in? Well, I'm not going to. I'm not going to catch him, and I'll probably only have one throw, so I might as well do it carefully. Okay, so add an extra die. Um, just as a warning, because it's quite dark and because he's moving, there is plus one to the obstacle, which would ordinarily be two, but is at the moment three. I see no other option than tossing, so <laughs> you've got to toss him, I no toss. What. The cat's going batshit, I don't Two. know here. Okay, nope. Oh, sadly, your stone goes close but whizzes by his ear. I'm do I not... actually need to succeed? I, I must understand the die system. Uh, I said obstacle three. So you, you need to get three successes. Three successes, which is four now, plus. Now, what oh, role are you going to have me do? Because I'm so far not even sure if I'm going to get into the alleyway. Okay, well, you're saying that you're going to steal yourself. Because I need to be like, I need to have the courage to go in. So what I'm going to say is, if you pass a will test, then you psych yourself up sufficiently that you can get plus one to steal tests for the next few minutes. Right, so, Shit. so so I have four dice for will. Yep, and I'm going to say this is... What's your hesitation? My hesitation is on quite high. It is, Six? Yeah. Okay, let's halve it. Ob's three. Okay. You got you're fighting in a in a Kiko is being fought here. Oh no, this is gonna go horribly wrong. <clears throat> actually, no, in it's not. Kiko. I actually managed it. Three Damn. successes. There you go. Okay, so you steeled yourself and you think you can handle it. Right. So, I'm, so in that case, I'm going to go in. Okay. And start chasing. Okay. Which so, is the so only... you're gonna start climbing. I'm gonna start the... climbing. Yeah. So. Okay. You are, don't have a climb skill. I don't. What do I put by the way for will? Because I passed that. That, that was. That would be a. Maybe difficult will no, test. No, it was uh, three for four, so it wasn't. It had to be four, wouldn't it? Is that routine? I can't remember because there's something weird about four and five. I can't remember what the exact Jesus thing God is. Me. One second. That would be a. Um, you're only four dice versus obs three. Difficult. Difficult, right? I'll yeah, that's generous. put a little block for that. So I don't have climb. No, it's based on what skill? Speed. Right, I have four in that. So, what? Okay, you so said it was, it was two? So... two for Clyker, so it's obs four for you. Oh dear. Well, all this means is you're climbing very slowly. As you can imagine, you guys are fit human beings that are not retarded. You can probably get up like a makeshift scaffolding. You'll just be doing it quite carefully. One, yeah. no way. Have... I'm barely making any headway there with that. Okay. Okay, so now, here, here's the situation as it stands. Put... Kiko and Clyker are going up. Clyker's ahead of Kiko, partly because he didn't have to steal, and partly because he rolled better. Um, Phil is looking... Phil, you were looking for buildings, weren't you? Yeah, now I'm looking to see if there's any other ways up which aren't involved in climbing. Well, there, there is, to be honest. You could just go into one of the buildings. Other, other than that, like <laughs> possibly outside the alley. You'll break into the bakery. Like, where, he, where he could be going. Well, once there's certainly, the rooftops, well kind of all stuff. these buildings, their roofs connect. And if you look up above at the street top, you can see that there are clearly planks running all the way across these buildings. Because at the top, even in the even across the main street, so, so, yeah, clearly, the like thieves have been using this for ages. And there are a couple of planks going all the way across. There's certainly a rope. That someone who's feeling very adventurous could go from one side to the other. Um, so let's just say that you can see him going from any rooftop from here. If you guys don't get up to that rooftop, he's almost certainly going so, to back. So I'm at the rooftop now. Oh, uh, you're not quite at the rooftop yet. You're halfway up. Okay. We're, we're okay. deciding what to do next, given the situation. And he's and he's literally just about to make it onto the roof. Right. <sighs> hmm. hmm. Well, gentlemen, I'm still climbing, so I'll leave it up to you what you climb, want to do. Climb, climb, ca. Climb, ca. Phil, will like you? Like a climb. Sick, Phil, were you going into the building? You're not still outside. I am still outside. I didn't go into a building. One of the things you could do, for example, by the way, is whether... Phil could have given somebody a boost when you're getting up at the beginning. Yeah, that's what I thought when you said I'm going to help Clyke. I thought you'd give me a boost. I'm... Roll this is totally nuts because I will not succeed at all, but I'm going to try and quickly climb up. I need okay, I need my fine. stuff. This is all I have. Like, Sadly, yeah. you, can't, you can't do a beginner's luck test quickly. Then I will just try and the... climb. Okay. The, sh the scaffolding he's on, do I think I could... Like, he's, he's still not at the roof, right? I'm nowhere near the roof. Could Take I... It. Shake no, no, it. The, 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 the um, urchin. Yep. Do I uh, think no, I he's actually, nearly at the top. Do I think I could actually break it and knock him off it? Uh, you could try. Like, um, on it as well at the same time, I would right? say that would could, to some risk of collateral damage. 
<laughs> well, I'm <laughs> trying to okay, climb no, anyway. Okay, I'm trying to climb as well. Well, will the, will the flint and tinder be fine? Okay, what I will say, Kiko, if you want to climb quickly, take a speed test. Okay, my speed is four, I do believe. So, yep, let's try a speed test first. Difficulty. Okay, so you'll take your speed test versus this kid. Oh, dear. If you beat him and then succeed at the climb roll, you'll be climbing faster than him. <laughs> no. Oh. Okay. <laughs> let's just try a climb. By the way, you guys need to throw the dice at least a little bit. That I know, was... I know, I just kind of dropped them. That was awesome. Okay, here we go. That is... Nope, that's only two successes. I'm not. Okay, you're, you're I'm barely getting anywhere. I'm rubbish at climbing. Okay. It's um, not a skill I am good at. So at this point, one of you notices, um, in this case, it is Kiko, because he's looking at all the entries and exit ways, which include the doors and windows. Uh. He notices there is a child peering out one of the windows, holding what looks like a sling. Is he Kill it. aiming Kill at it. one of us? Uh, he, it is spinning. The, the sling is active. Do you choose to call others, the others' attention to this, Kiko? Who's he aiming at? Uh, he, he's just spinning it. You can't tell who he's aiming at until he loses. Because with, with, a, with a sling, you spin it and then you lose. Oh, it's not a sling shot. It's the oh. kind of thing where he like, exactly. spins it sling. above his head. Okay. Exactly. Yes, I just randomly shout sling. Okay. <laughs> how, how far away is the kid from me? Uh, he's he's like literally the other side. If you imagine that you're climbing up on the inside yep. of an incline, he's just literally maybe twenty feet See, away in a different is, window. I would down. point, oh. but I'm not climbing very well. And if okay. I point, I might fall. So I'm not going to point. I'm just going to shout sling. So so okay. So he can't actually hit me from where he is with the angle. Oh, he, uh, he can. He can. He can. He can see you. Like you can imagine that he can see roughly like a sixty degree. If he degree. can see you, he can hit you. Uh, oh okay. Uh, can I accelerate my climb? Can I do a speed test? Uh, you can certainly try and take your own climbing test quickly. You have the option of actually just doing it quickly. Because you uh, have skill. Okay, so I, I'll, I'll redo the climbing test or what? Okay, you can. What I'm going to warn you is that because the circumstances have changed, oh, you're now trying to do it quickly, you have to reiterate yeah. the risk of failure, which is if you fail, you will probably fall. Okay. That was a uh, nice back you had there. Yeah, indeed. <clears throat> is there... Is there maybe, like, a window close to me where I'm Climbing that's open that where I could go in and then maybe take the stairs up. <laughs> okay, take perception test. There okay, are stairs; uh, they only lead down. Um, what's your perception I have, score? I have a perception of four. Okay, let's say it's obs two. It's not particularly hard to spot a window, but you need one that's near you. So obs two. Bethryn is preparing uh, the oh, mother wait, of all this, rolls. Wait, I can't see this one. This is that one? That's yeah, a yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. Re Can I re-roll re this? Re-roll re it. Yeah, yeah, re re the one that is like that. Unfortunately, oh, that's okay. one. Okay, you can't see an appropriately positioned window. Okay. That's my um, stuff. I think the game might have just crashed for me. Uh, yeah, it's been pretty funky for me as well. Yeah, I think it's, I think it's because I'm patching Secret World. I'm going to stop. <laughs> Why are you patching Secret World at the same time? Because I'm a multitasker, okay? Can it I is get... literally taking your entire connection Get right now. on my level, okay? My oh, level my. on it, get. Oh, dearie me. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so I can't spot a window. No. You can't spot a window. So you pretty much your options are go faster or... Be evasive. Okay, well, I'll try to go faster. Well, you need to generate a new character for evasive. What was his life path? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know. Okay, so I try to go faster. What do I roll? Same roll, same obs. It's your climbing skill of two versus the obs of two. However, um, if you fuck up, you fall. Dead. Is there anything I can do to give me better chances? Uh, if you get sixes, make them explode. Oh, right, um, okay. Or you could try and use a fate point to reduce the obs to one to mitigate the dark penalty. We'll see. I can do that after I roll, right? Yes. Don't Bam, I do it. Yes. Yes. Okay, you speed up. Um, and this means he, he the kid with the sling is obviously not, not going to throw it at you yet. Um, instead, he loses his sling at Ruford. Because Ruford was the one who threw the first stone. Ah, he who no, casts the first stone. Did I not get my is... second action here? Did I not get my second fucking action? Well, what were you uh, going to you do? Can, you can certainly try and act, but this is at the same time as he's doing his sling thing. So. Oh, I, oh, I see. So. What are you going to do? Well, I don't know. I just don't understand because everyone seems to have had their second action and I get shot at before I get mine. So, so <laughs> That's I'm... true. That's <laughs> okay, well, fair enough. Yeah. What do you, what'd you choose to do? Well, uh... He was uh, going into. We were considering going into the building, so that was uh, my course of action. Okay, so you're gonna go into the building. Well, uh, there's a bunch of sh shit I wanted to do. Go into the building as I try to get to the top, 
to grab as much shit as possible and try to make myself as urchin-like as, as uh, in appearance as I can. So you're basically going to a building and stealing. Okay, yes. can, I, can I say that this strategy will take time? Yeah. Well, I'm assuming... Because, I mean, this, this kid is almost at the roof. You need to get to the roof. Can well, you throw if, together a disguise if, in time? If, if it, Well, I do it very, very fast. And uh, <laughs> if not all else fails, we'll catch one of the other ones, beat the shit out of it, leave him to Philip, Phil Freed, and, uh, <laughs> and have like, him get something out of it. You him. know what to do, Phil. <laughs> throw him the corpse. This get person him, that uh, I, I, don't, I don't know his, anything uh, about, daggers. I will presume that he will kill people. <laughs> I, think, I think we're Look at him. for the Look sake at him. of this argument that you're all like in this mystical wonderland and suddenly being thrown togetherness. I think you're aware of each other. Okay, um, what what the, what, what the do I roll? I would suggest that you take a speed test to get up to the top of the building. Which is your speed, which I believe is three or four? Four. four? four? Okay. Um, you're trying to be very fast, too. I'm going to say obs two because it's not particularly difficult. And okay. Be for me. So... Um, no. That actually means that you're so slow that the guy with the slingshot gets just chance to hit you. But his slingshot, his sling skill is only two because he's a fucking scrub, and he has to, he has oh, like obs two to hit you anyway because it's dark. Is this against? Oh my, uh... my word! Oh. He's hit you. As you were running towards the building, clunk. No, oh. <laughs> just a casual. No so cheating. What this, what this means is you're going to take a a wound of strength three. Actually, wait, no, I should do. I should draw the missile thing. Do I start a wimp? Don't get a five or six. This will really hurt otherwise. Oh, no. three. Okay, this is a shit hit. It's a, it's a mark hit. And a sling is pretty weak. I think it's like four Slings or something. Slings are actually very strong. Uh, I uh, think it, from from the point of view of a sling being thrown by a 13-year-old in the dark without much training, uh, we can assume he his, his sling will be weak source. Uh, I will accept this in this situation. <laughs> I will temporarily accept. They don't have rules for slings. What is this shit? Okay, palm-sized rock. Shut up, fuck's sake. The cat goes apeshit because I'm talking, which is, of course, <laughs> wonderful. See, okay. why didn't you get an animal companion cat? What? That would have actually been pretty funny. Oh, right, okay, it's just, it's actually his power. Um, and because it's an incidental hit, you actually take a, a hit of size two. So it's not even, it's not even a superficial wound. It's, it's like a mild bruise. Do, do, um, I, do I have to roll the steel to not... No, to, you don't. Uh, you have to do nothing because it's not really significantly bothering you. It's, it's literally like, ow. You were hit by something. Maybe, maybe he put a potato in a sling because he didn't have a stone or something. <laughs> <laughs> noises. Just splat potato to the head. Okay, it's a mashed so, potato. Moving on to the next phase. Um, here is, as things are going, the guys just got onto the roof. Hold on a sec, hold on a sec. Because um, I didn't do mine. Oh, Mine's to go into the house, like if necessary, pushing the door open. Where the kid is in. Yeah, yeah, the, the, the door's not locked. And I'm gonna try and go up to the kid. Okay, speed test. Ops 2, go. Speed oh, is your forte. Um, Ops 2. Speed is your forte. What? My forte? <laughs> I, I'm making a this joke about forte. it Phil not being like a... Well done! The slow, oh, the nice. slow Siegfried manages to make it up <laughs> um, nearly to the top. Okay, so as things stand, the kid is just getting onto the roof at this very moment. Klyker's pretty close to the top. Kiko's right. sort of halfway up. And Rufert is just got inside the building while Please Phil is nearly... Please me top. Dominic Prick. Sorry, Dominic Prick. <laughs> is uh, Dominic Prick? Is, just Dominic, just my the building, work. but unfortunately, he was a bit slow. Could I try? Could I try? Since, since uh, you know, like when he gets up to the top, he has to pull himself up, so it's gonna um, take him a little bit of time, right? Where I can catch up. Can I maybe try and, like, I don't know, like, 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 hit at him with my sword a bit to do to, to <laughs> make him stumble. You want, you want to draw your sword? Oh, oh right. yeah, don't no, like, achieve <laughs> yet, yeah, like drawing it out while like, it's sitting. Yeah, what yeah, will happen is you'll be like, I draw my sword. What you, could, what you could try doing, I'm going to say the following there, are some, there is a rope dangling down the middle of this area from the top that extends about 20 feet off the ground, and you're, okay. you're level with it. If you wanted to, you could jump to the rope and do some heroic rope climbing action, which might You could also fun. jump to the rope yeah, and do I'll some do heroic that sounds, face that planting amazing, on the actually. ground. That sounds amazing. I'll do that. I'll grab the rope to, to catch up to him. Okay, there are two things you need to do. The okay. first is a speed test to make it to the okay. rope, which is actually a pretty easy jump. I have a speed of four. Yep, it's only obs two because it's a relatively easy jump, even if it's in the dark. And okay, is you've made it. Some sort of roll to determine if the rope is actually meant to hold a person or not. Oh no! In this particular case, the rope holds. Like he didn't check, but the rope <laughs> holds. 
it's entirely possible the rope wouldn't have held, and if so, he would have fallen to his death. Yeah. In fact, what we okay. can... If you want so to maybe we need rope guys, actually, in fact, oh, this is a good example. So in a situation like this, you can roll what's called the die of fate. So if you're like, okay, we don't know the situation of the rope and I haven't decided, but I'll be like, okay, on a roll of one, it breaks. No, nope, you're safe. And that's a die of fate. So a die of fate comes up whenever there's a little bit of chance and you don't really know. Yeah. Like, I think Slyker cool. should be the one to roll it. Nah, no, no, no. Like, it's, it's okay if the end doesn't. <laughs> Um, okay, so I make it to the rope, so now I have to uh, now you climb have it. To climbing. Climbing it's, skill? It's, it's obs one, because unlike the, the other thing, you know exactly what to do on a rope. There's no question of what to do. Oh, I was about okay. to say, or do you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you, you, you are now on the very edge of the roof, and ah. you can see what awaits you on top of the roof, which okay. makes you somewhat distressed, but meanwhile... <laughs> I, I'm just going Everybody to else keep, is doing that I'm shit. just going to keep climbing because I'm <laughs> not good at this. So. <laughs> he goes you have a up, and suddenly having all the regrets in the world, he's like, why did I choose Why climb? did I choose to why? do this? Does Kiko have a speed of four? No, no I have a power. Speed as luck. I have a speed oh. of four, but I, I'm very slowly climbing up. I'm so not he... doing it quickly because I don't want to fall to my death. So he just begins luck fails again. So he's still just like slowly climbing so slowly. I'm just like, why am I doing this? <laughs> like exactly, he's like, let's just go down and climb it halfway up. I, I, halfway, halfway up, I'm thinking, I could just get a that. new flint and steel. I could just okay. get a new one. So you can see what just happened. You can see what's going on with the rope and stuff. You're at the third floor. Roof foot is, let's say, on the first, which is actually the, the second floor up. I'm using English style floors. Um, what do you, to what do you, roof and floor, want to do? He sets the building me. on fire. Um, I'm beside the kid with the slingshot, yeah. You are, you are certainly, um, actually you're across the way from him, actually, oddly. You both, you and Rufert, went into the building that was the opposite side to him, which is why the kid could shoot at you, because he can't shoot directly down. I, I, I was trying to get to him, actually. Oh, right, okay, if you're trying to get to him, that's what yeah. happened. You're on that side, and you're on a different building to Rufert. Uh, so I'm going to grab the kid by the arms, so, I, so he can't sort of throw any... And throw him out the building. I'm going to say that this is not even, you don't even have to make a brawling check for this, he's not paying attention to you, he doesn't hear you coming. And it's just trivial to grab his arms because he's like a child. You have know, power twelve teen. Um, <laughs> so what are you going to? What? Why? Are you, what, what is your intent with grabbing him? Uh, at the moment, I'm just going to give him a quick shake and ask him if he knows who the urchin is. Okay, you say. Where are my dragons? Where is Where's the urchin? Exactly. Where's the urchin? He's obviously terrified. And he's just like, why are you doing this? They're going to kill us. Uh, who are they? The thieves killed. Ah! <laughs> what the whole thieves guild is on the roof. The whole thing just being like, <laughs> he's a loose end. What He's are a you loose doing? end. Turns out the whole building. Is there. <laughs> what are you doing on the thieves guild roof? <laughs> um, I guess ask him where 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 they normally go. He said the enforcers are waiting on the roof. You fucking idiot friends about to get killed. Okay, I let him down, but I grab his sling. Okay, <laughs> you got a sling. Easy enough. Okay, right, Rufus. <clears throat> yes. My name? Dominique Prick. Thank you. <laughs> well, he's working on his uh, disguise as he goes up there. That's Mr. <laughs> Dominic Prick to yeah. you. What's your disguise skill, Rupert? Uh, is it disguise or scavenging since he's looking for shit? Uh, oh, it's over lick test. Scavenging, then disguise. Um, so, scavenging, let's say, what are you looking for? Rags and shit? Uh, yeah, and there's uh, some gunk to throw in his uh, crotch and head. Okay, face. so um, rags and shit is obs one. We'll do it quickly. Um, so let's say it's obs two. So obs two for your for your scavenging skill. So that's two. <laughs> okay. All that means is that it um, you don't get advanced advantage to your next roll, which is your disguise roll. Which is five. Which is five versus obs three because you couldn't find anything appropriate, so it's kind of harder than usual. Is this five? I don't I don't know if this is five. Uh, well, check your stat sheet. It is five. There. No, no, I meant the uh, the. Unfortunately, amount of you only rolled two successes there. Okay, so I, ha so I have a large dapper mustache, but look like an urchin. <laughs> so what's happened is you're trying to look like an urchin, uh, but somehow you feel like it won't quite be convincing. You haven't managed to find the right amount of like 19th century soot in your face. I could crawl up through the the chimney. Okay, but but you're you're now you're now at the third floor with a, with a thrown together disguise that won't hold up to much scrutiny. By the way, Rupert, the chat asks why you didn't choose the name Dommy Prick instead. <laughs> I think the chat should fuck, shut the fuck up. And, uh, now, now, now. Be civil, to the, oh, be oh, civil oh, to the chat, Rupert. Oh. Okay. Bit of a, after bit all, of a after all, the notepad says you are the master of dying. 
spell it wrong. Okay, so now we come <laughs> to the next tick of time, and this is where Kleiker suddenly sees the yes. fact that there are four extremely burly men carrying clubs on the roof, presumably A, to make sure that the urchins bring whatever they get. Ah, get they're back. about to play a game of whack a Kleiker. Have they spotted me yet? I uh, really fucking want that flint. Yes, basically. Yes, you pulled your you pulled your head up, and there's not much. I else to don't look forget, up I have an instinct that keeps me from doing actions that would make myself visible. Okay, fair enough. So, are you so are you saying that when you looked up, you just kind of peeked over the top? I just yeah, I just kind of I, I peeked over and I quickly reacted and I just ducked my head back down. I really so desperately want to chase this person, okay. but I will peek delicately. I'm gonna say desperate. they're gonna take beginner's luck observation versus obs four. So like, only three dice. Uh, that What's should be four? four. That's four yeah, dice because they have yeah, perception yeah, okay. four. Beginner's luck observation. Holy oh. shit, they nearly did it. Holy shit. Very yeah. nearly. Um, so you, you, you now have to choose how you're going to react to the fact that there are four burly men with clubs on top of the building. Okay. Um, Bring them on, you dark stinker. TNT. Well, what I'm going to do is, like, I'm still on the rope, right? Uh, you are, on, you are, you're kind of, you're, your hands are actually over the lip of the roof. Oh, right, okay, but the rope is right there. I could grab it without any problems. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Um, is there a window? There is like right next to me. a window at your level. Okay, uh, I want to get in through that window. Okay, you need to swing on the rope. Speed test. Ops 2, go. Okay, I have a speed of 4, so... Oh, oh. boy. No. Um, and that failure means that you kind of fall. No, what? Die of fate. Can I try... Oh, God. What does no, no, that no, mean? No, 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 no. If I roll a 1... Yeah. You grab something. Like, what you what you hold on to? Because I'm going to say you're going to because you have the climbing skill, you're going to catch something on the way, like yeah. some of the stuff sticking out the side because it's pretty close to you. But on a one, whatever it is breaks. Nope. Okay, you just you catch on to to an object like some something like a yeah, ledge yeah. or like something sticking out. Like a window out. ledge or something. Exactly. Yeah. But that's your go over because um, yeah, makes sense. <laughs> you just did it. Okay, so you got so, but you didn't yell anything to anybody, so nobody knows what you saw yet. What on head. earth is he doing, my character is thinking. He just exactly. got to the roof, and now he's trying to fling himself into a window. What? Yeah. Well, I'm kind of, of course, like, I can't shout it right there now. There must I be something interesting up there. I'm going to find out what. More okay. climbing. <laughs> Eventually, the Ju turtle will win. Judson will climb up to his doom. Fucking spunty. No, very slowly no, climb up to his doom. Gentle failure. You're kind of you. You you are high enough now that you could go in through a window at the top level, at the fourth floor. Uh, no, because then I will be in a in a, a potentially dangerously enclosed space. No. Okay. I prefer to be hanging precariously off the side of a building I than going to a small room. I appreciate your dedication to the art of role playing. So many terrified of small places. Okay, Rufus. You are nearly at the top, so you can go onto the roof, basically. It turns out, guys, by the way, that climbing is much slower than actually just going upstairs inside a house. Obviously. Um, so, uh, Rufert, you, you can now pretty much go onto the roof. You can see on the top floor of the building you're on, there is a pretty clear set of stairs that goes up to a trapdoor, what you assume leads onto the roof. Is there a sign that says, Ye Roofy Thieves Guild up here? Yes. Will there be uh, some sort of uh, being slapped in the head when you... By the way, uh... the, the rooms you've been going through, they look like they're full of dust, crates and cloth. They look like this is the storage area for a shop which front ends onto the street below. Darn, it's a dust here. guild. I hate those. Fucking dust. <laughs> we must procure more dust. The dust must flow. Hmm. <laughs> the dust hmm. must settle, you I mean. must consider this. Hmm. He hmm. who I, ignores uh, the dust did I, controls did the I cleaning. Run any, uh, did I run for any kitchens on the way up there? Uh, you did not run through any kitchen. He grabs a snack. <laughs> Shit, no, I wanted knives. I don't have any. I should have had the Sigfil's ass. Uh, let's see. Well, <laughs> make way up onto roof. Do okay. I see Urchin up there? Are you going to do that, like, just straight up walk up there? No well, uh, I assume I'm going to get whacked over the head when I stick my head up. You don't okay, know. so are you going to use any of your skills in order not in order to make that fate not yours? You do have uh, a stealthy skill? Would that be observation? I don't have a stealthy skill, do I? You do. I do? Inconspicuous? I thought you had stealthy. No, that I was me. I don't have stealthy. That's no. me. Okay, I'm I have stealthy. Okay. I have um, stealthy too. But, uh, I, but I am going to be disguised wall. and I'm inconspicuous, so uh, I might not bring you back. Unfortunately, that's not quite appropriate. I mean, inconspicuous is more like you're in a crowd trying to blend in. And disguise would make, would, would if you'd succeeded at disguise, then you might have been able to temporarily confuse them by appearing to be another urchin. But that has not succeeded. So you're pretty sure that your disguise would, would do a huge amount. 
is it that shit? Even if it's the top of my head being. Seen well, first. I think. Well, no, no, it's 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 more that it's more the question is how do you poke out your head? Do you poke out your head like as though you're going up there, or are you just like check? Hello, what? I'm definitely not a thief. Clunk. Are you well, still sticking my head up fucking trap doors has worked out so well for me in all oh, this oh, 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 that's I'll true. Just go, I'll just go it straight sure for that. Has. A trans-dimensional sure messenger has. from another roof it. <laughs> brings message, no! Don't make the same mistake! Just goes, oh. Okay, so in that case, uh, you don't need to take a check, you're just going to poke your head up. And what do you see but the back are four extremely burly men's legs. They aren't facing towards you, and you haven't fully opened the trap door. So what do you choose to do? Don't you open that trap I door! For... There's something down there. <laughs> I I I uh I roll my sphincter. Your sphincter, excellent. Yeah. <laughs> Lovely. That's uh that's one uh will check, please. I would uh disappear back down the fucking trap door and make my way down to the street again. Oh well, that money wasn't really? important. Yeah, well, fuck that. It's just flint. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Actually, for you it was money. For okay, me Rupert's... it was flint. No, Rupert's... I didn't have any money. Oh. I just took my flint. Rupert's Rupert's piecing. He's out. Okay, okay, guys. Uh, By the way, Kiko, okay. the chat asks why your character doesn't have the Tin Pig accent from Gold Talk. Because <laughs> he's not Orlando. Okay. Uh, so quickly, I grab whatever the kid was using for ammunition. Uh, so Palm-sized stones. Yeah, and then I carefully try to climb up from the thing onto the roof. Okay, so. This is on the this is on the other side of, of yeah the uh, other side of the way. So this is actually where the guys are facing because if Rufert was behind them, you are in front of them. Yep. So you climb up onto the roof and you see four burly men with truncheons. Great. And this is where we now once more unify the streams. I believe everybody has taken their turn mm. again. Yeah. Um, we need to consider that Phil is now the only person who's well. Clyco hasn't communicated what's going on. Rufin hasn't well, communicated what's yeah, going on. Well, Kiko I'm, is I'm, still climbing, and Phil's just like. He's determined, Dominic. Correct, please. Well, I kind of, I kind of caught myself now, right? So I can, I can, I can shout out at people. Do I actually see someone? Like, do I see Veteran or something? Uh, you know, because you're, you're now inside. Um, you're hanging off the wall. You can see me. Like thirty right. feet off the ground. You can yeah, see, that's you can't true. see shit. <laughs> okay, so I want to pull myself up and get into the window, so I finally have you know some fucking floor under my feet again. Okay, that's a uh, ob obs two power test. It's not particularly difficult, but it's like. Okay, uh, I've got power of three. Can you do a pull up? Yeah, yeah no problem. Way, yeah, okay. Okay, so you pulled yourself up to the window. You're okay. now on the same side as Rufert. Am I in a? So what's the room like? I'm in. Is You're like inside a room. Dusty room yeah, nothing, it's, it's, it's full of important. crates covered in canvas, dust around. It, it's basically does he, does he, uh, storage. Meet me on the way down. Uh, well, he hears you leaving the room as he gets into there. Oh, oh okay. I'd like to go, oh, hi, Clyker. Is this the same room with the trapdoor? It is indeed. Oh, okay, so so wait, I see Ruford or what? Uh, he's, he, you hear him leaving the room. Okay, well, I go, I sort of I go Ruford, to go where are you going? And, and oh, sorry, I go Dominic. Dominic, where are you going? Oh, hi, Mark. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's full of men up there. I, I would rather not. They look burly and unwashed. What, what do you what do you mean? There's men up there. I mean, I I, I saw I, I took a glimpse I saw a glimpse of them too, but we need to get our stuff back, man. Oh, but there's men up there. There's men up there. There's men up there, Clyke. Yeah, but we it's, can take it. It's just not like no, you can't take him, Clyke. <laughs> yes, we can. You're <laughs> fucking useless, right? You're so fucking useless. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going out the window. Fuck you. This guy's just <laughs> given up. He's just like, well, goodbye. <laughs> Wee! I love this. I just, I just don't want to hack it anymore. <laughs> the adventuring life, I've only just started. Four men with clubs, I'm out. No, 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 he, he's going to try another approach. But he I'm out before it gets the dragons and ogres. I'm out. <laughs> Luke, I want, to, I want to check the room if there's anything useful I can use. There is certainly, in one corner... Um, but, in fact, no, sorry, I lie. Take a perception test. <laughs> I was about to in say... In one okay, corner, there is a corner. corner. Exactly. A perception, perception. it's only obs two, but it's dark. Oh, oh god damn it! Okay, there's nothing, really nothing you can use. Too I can't really see anything. So whose okay, turn is it now? Um, at this point, uh, let's see. Okay, I have I have an idea. Let's let's, let's see how well this works. Um, I I want to grab like in the room. I mean, even if I didn't find anything useful, but like there's all kinds of stuff lying around, right? There, well, there's basically just crates and cloth. I mean, there's no pallets or anything. No, no, no. But you don't know how the crates got there. Okay, is there some kind of? I don't know. Like, is there some kind of like a like a wooden piece, kind of like a smaller block or something like something I could throw down stairs that yeah, would yeah, like, kind of tumble down and make that out? There's noise. definitely something you could throw. You could you could knock down like there's a step ladder against a wall that you could throw down the stairs. Oh, 
okay, something like that. Okay, I want to grab myself something. I position it at the stairs. Mm -hmm. And what I do then is I go to the trap door. Yeah. And I, I from the inside, I, I knock at it really, really loudly, like, like, like boom, 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 boom. Yep. And then um, I, I wait like a few seconds. Mm -hmm. And then I throw the thing down down the stairs. And then I rush for the window and I want to hang myself out of the window so people can't see me. Oh, no, wait. Before this before this resolves... No, wait, 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 wait. I don't want to do the window thing. Is there a big crate I can hide behind? Uh, there is, but before this resolves, we have to okay. deal with the fact that they're seeing Phil and Kiko still climbing. So, okay. Kiko, unleash your inner, your inner climbing self. Oh, hurrah. You get to see all of my amazing failure climbing action. <laughs> I'm really yeah. terrible at this. But I'm probably not worry. even going to get to Kiko, the top. You, no, no, you, you are actually high enough that it, so long as you rolled a success, I'm mm. going to allow you to get to the lip. Excellent. Now I can get killed. Okay, you're now at the lip. Do you want to pull yourself up? No. Okay, you're just dangling there. I'm set. It is 40 feet down. It is up to you. But I, my feeling about 40 feet is that it's not feet I want under me. Fair enough. Then I will climb up oh, and like die. <laughs> well, no, 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 you, you, you know, won't. <laughs> I think you need to. You, don't worry. Okay, so you, you're going to pull yourself up? Obstacle yes. power left? Uh, this Obstacle could... pull up? Uh, let's see. What's my power like? Four, Watch me fall. Uh, power is four. Oh, yeah. Just oh, bond. Yeah. He can oh, grab oh, things. Oh, wow. Oh, three mm. sixes. Ro roll oh, that yeah, technically, that this one he could re throw, well, actually. But... <gasps> no, 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 that was going to be a six. That was going to be a six. I have to re roll it. It was gonna be a six. It's gonna be a six. Yeah. Oh, 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 Doesn't you matter. Succeeded, you succeeded in your pull up, and you are suddenly confronted by four extremely burly men. Except their attention is already taken by Phil, who can now yes. tell me what he's going to do. But he's standing there. Okay, the first, first question. City wise, city guard wise, do I know if there's anyone who tangles with the city guards other than the thieves guild? He's quite nasty. Um, you know of groups. Unfortunately, none of them are here, and you can't think. Do of I know of any names? Uh, you. This wouldn't be city guard wise. This would be something to do with crime. So, so be, you, know. you, you could you could certainly try city crime wise. Yeah, can I say it's obs four versus your whatever your perception is. Perception. So this is this is a beginner's luck wise for crime wise. <laughs> let's say, gang wise. Nope. Okay. No, no name. No name springs to your lips. Except so your own. Shit, uh, it seems to be out. What does hmm. the Phil do? <laughs> Judson Pond. He gets into terrible situations, and then, and then he gets into more terrible uh, situations. No, at the moment, there's a there's like a, r a roughly two foot gap between the two buildings that you're on and they're on. Um, the roofs are slightly, they're kind of rickety, constructed out of all types of leaning to bits of like sh semi shorted up chimney. There are planks that are actually clearly, if you look carefully, you'll notice there are some extremely long planks that have been laid on their side, behind the lip of each building, clearly used to move from building top to building top. These yeah. guys also, oddly, because they're retarded, don't have a projectile weapon. So if they want to get to you, they're going to have to jump across that gap. Excellent. Good thing they don't need a projectile weapon to club me to death. To <laughs> that gap. All, Kiko, all you would have to do is jump to the rope, swing to the other lip, which wouldn't actually be particularly far, and then climb up the other side. And then oh, you'd be good. Able... So all you're asking for is absurdity. All I'm asking Start... for is true heroism, Kiko, I believe. What, what I'm not a hero. Uh, no animal calls when he could sound like a turkey hanging off the drain pipe. He certainly would know animal calls. Yeah. I start spinning the sling, but not... Sorry, I don't have turkey-wise. It doesn't this work. This is going to be a lot more trouble than they thought it was worth. Okay, I like that. So is that is that an attempt at intimidation? Yeah. An unskilled okay. intimidation. Unskilled intimidation. What's your will? Uh, my will is four. Okay, bust out this four dice. I, I'm afraid because there's only uh, one of you. This is pretty tricky. This is actually Orb Six. Yeah. Relative, uh, uh, so. No, hold, hold on, hold up. Uh, Whoa. Okay. Look, would, would you give him an extra die if he yells something intimidating as well? If Phil can can pull. If this Phil off? can muster something intimidating IRL, he certainly can. <laughs> what I said, is, yeah, it's going to be a lot more trouble than it's worth. We got. You got. I want to believe. I've got to believe. <laughs> Come on, Phil. Come on, Phil. There's no belief <laughs> here. Okay. Not that bit. So, unfortunately, um, one of them says something to the effect of "You and who's army?" and cockily. They start w w slowly walking towards you, and it, it is at this point that Kiko appears. Okay. Oh great! The worst army has just about has just passed the lip of the and roof. At the very same moment, a very loud banging appears on the trap door behind them. Yep. And they are going to take a steel test for surprise because what the fuck? <laughs> and let's say the average goon here has steel six. Still on steel. Ah, 
that yeah these are the professional people who yeah. beat other people over the head yeah true i know i know <laughs> these are not nice people and their hesitation is let's say five. Oh, dear uh, they jesus christ they passed. are not phased they are not phased <laughs> they easily pass it they're like what these guys are like, uh, <laughs> okay so one of them turns around to move towards the the the, the thing just to check it uh, the other two immediately just start spreading slightly for Kiko, while the last one is looking around for a way to get across the gap because he doesn't want to jump it. It's just far enough that you'd have to do a little bit of a run-up. You can't step across. And now it comes to uh, Me. Kliker's resolving his action. Yeah, so I'm hiding behind that crate. Is the guy who's checking the trapdoor, is he coming down because he hears the thing I threw down the, the stairs? Uh, well, he's opened it. Now let's roll to see if a perception test, see if you can hear it. Okay. Well, it should be quite loud, shouldn't it? Must be my imagination. Oh, That's yes, right. good for him. The, guards, the, 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 the bruiser's sharp ears pick up the fact that there's something loud falling down the stairs. He says something along the lines of, Hey, lads, I'm from up north. Let's go check this fucking thing out. I don't know why. <laughs> um, and so he comes down the stairs. Okay. Um, you can hear the clattering, and immediately, at this, this is at this point that his back is to you, and, yes. his, and he's facing down towards the stairwell. Okay, this is the part Ooh. where I want to come out of hiding, dash behind him, and kicking down the stairs. Okay, you have to do two things. I hope you do not fail this horribly and fall stealthy. down. I hope you, you, don't have to, you have to make sure he doesn't hear you. I have stealthy four. Okay. You I have, hope oh, you, you do. don't fall down nice. the yeah. stairs Stealth. yourself at yeah. the end of this. This is easy enough. There's a loud noise going on. Ob's one. All threes. Okay, <laughs> success. Um, you, you get behind him. This means okay. this wall is unopposed. You have to. You. Uh, it's an Ob's one roll. Okay. Okay. For what? Whatever skill you choose to use to deal with him, it can be co any combination of brawling, weapon, please bardic song. Kick him. Please bardic song him, him down there. That would be okay, I don't. I don't really have any skill that deals it's, with it's, that. It's not a technique. You're just going to shove him, pretty much. Like just, just kick yeah. him down. Okay, the yeah. power test. I'd say, okay, uh, so but it's a bit power. harder because it's like. Well, I want to kick him in the back. I mean, he's obviously just standding there completely yeah, okay. unaware. Yeah, okay. Let's say Ob's one. Let's say Ob's one. It's reasonable. All threes. <sighs> okay, success. Your kick catches him in the, in the small of the back, and he immediately starts falling down the stairs. Ow! 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 ow, 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 ow. <laughs> Why did I put that sword there? Ow! Ow! My club! Ow! What the fuck? Ow, ow. Whoa! There's a fucking step ladder! Ow! Fuck you! <laughs> okay. Okay. So, you, and, so well, this guy's. I, I take it this guy is out of commission. Uh, as far as you can tell, he's still falling down the stairs. Okay. So, <laughs> Phil and Kiko, and Rufford actually. I suppose Rupert, if Rupert wants to do anything, well, Rupert is like, I'm leaving. But uh, the Dominic Prick is scouring the rest of the building now for oh. a dress to wear. <laughs> then suddenly a guy comes falling down okay. the stairs. Okay, scavenging test, go. Uh... What's your scavenging? It's, it's two. Let's say Ob's one. It turns out that one of the rooms you discuss. Actually, no, Dire Fate, Dire Fate. One second, Dire Fate. Okay. On, on, on a one, something funny happens. No. Shit, something funny happens. So two. Yep, Ob's two. That's three, that's three. Do you want to do it carefully? Uh, yeah, sure. I'm in no yeah, hurry. Three? Okay. I'm in no hurry. He's, dude, he's, he's casual. It's okay. <laughs> nice. You find a dress. It turns out that one of the rooms is, in fact, a storage room full of extremely nice ceremonial silk dresses, and you find yourself a nice kimono. Would there be a wig in there? <laughs> uh, there is no wig, sadly. Damn it! However, okay. uh, you, you, could, you, could, you could use your... <laughs> no, not a mop, but you could use your, your acting skill... Um, you can think of a shawl or something. I will you might be able hair. to form. Okay. Hmm. Now my situation. Well, uh, well, uh, I shall, uh, I shall, uh, make myself up as a woman and, uh, make my way to, uh, to where the, the tough men were. Okay. And, and get beaten up. <laughs> well, the Rupert is cross-dressing. As, as he lands <laughs> at the stairs, Rupert walks up to him and goes, Hello there, sir. Are you hurt? And he just goes, Oh, fuck, I broke my spine or something. Okay, while this is going on, Kiko, you have just pulled yourself up onto the roof and there are two guys about ten feet away. Now, you have a couple of options. The first one would be to jump behind you to get to make the gap between the two buildings. Right. And then draw your bow. Okay. You have slung across your back with you. Yep. Um, your other option would be to try and negotiate. No. So, I mean, really, at this point, it's, it's back down. There is down. a third option. So hold on, hold on a and that... There's two guys... Okay, so well, actually, actually, I can, I can indicate. So we had four, yours. we had four enforcers plus the urchin. Yeah. No, no, no. Two guys, two guys are over here, and let's let's put this quite a key. Wait, you guys. can spawn actual models. You can spawn. You actual can, models. but we have dice. Dice all I need. I'm a role player. Spawn those little, spawn those little. No, uh, no, no. We need dice. Yeah, no, we are no. only using dice. 
Um, uh, cool. And then there's one who's falling downstairs going... Yeah. And then there's one who is over here. What I'm going to say is this line here is the gap between the two buildings. There's one guy over here. There's two guys facing Kiko and one guy went down the trapdoor over here. And then Phil is all the way over here at the back. So the first thing I'm going to do under my breath is just go, oh, fiddle faddle. Uh, you immediately earn one fate point for use of terrible swearing. <laughs> and fiddle, I'm fiddle. just going to run back and try and jump to the other building because I'm not facing two toughs. I uh, couldn't take that. Speed test. I might suggest doing it quickly. Yeah. 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 Warning. The penalty for failure will probably be falling. Well, it's Warning, no different to... For, it's no different to die. Any of these die will be death. It's no different to <laughs> die. So, there's falling and then there's dying. So, let's see. It's only ops two, though. Well, that's easy. Nice. Three. Da -da 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 Boink. So, you've made it across, and are you going to draw your bow? Yes! Oh, yeah. Okay, you draw your bow, no problem. Uh, Phil, what are you doing meanwhile? This act of heroism is occurring in front of you. You mean this act of fleeing? It's as far as as far as he can tell, it looks like he saw some bros and was like, I'm gonna fuck these guys up, but I got a bow. So not here. Uh I guess I'll try and fight <laughs> oh dear. use a sling, even though I have absolutely no skill in it. Okay, use the sling skill, it's rude soft agility. Um which is three. Ordinarily, this would be a medium range slingshot, which would be obs two, double to obs four. Because cool. beginner's luck, so roll those three dice for that fatty obs four. Oh that man. Use, that that use Some facts about slings. If you swing above your head, you're more likely to hit, but it's less powerful. So, That's true, but he doesn't know that. So I can try exploding and. You can try exploding the six and adding an extra die in with Persona okay. if you really wanted to. Go for it. So we've got two successes. Oh, that oh, six explodes, wow. so roll that six again. Explodes, so again. So that's the uh, third. Yep, success. Oh! oh, tragedy. So even even though the stone appears to deflect in midair, like bouncing off a wind current, <laughs> it still just sails past one of their heads. He's slightly surprised by this, but also notices the fact that you're flailing the sling like a crippled duck. <laughs> <laughs> and says something oh. effect, you don't know how to use that, old boy. So at this point, I guess it comes uh, all the way back to me. If he, when he That's says that, I'm just going to draw my sword immediately and say it, but I do know how to use this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and, I will uh, throw it at you! <laughs> okay, so now we come to a general a general deciding on what's going to happen next. So, well, we come back to Mr. Klaikai, I guess. Uh, Klaikai and Rufa, yeah. You two are inside yeah. the building still. Yeah. Okay, so, so I knocked the guy down the stairs, effectively taking him out. So <laughs> ow, eventually ow, we ow. take him out. Five minutes later, I'm so back. So the three other guys are the three other guys. Have they noticed that the guy? You like, know or it, they yeah. just no, they, they are they completely? Back. They're completely focused on something else. As far they're as they're completely you can focused tell. on on Kiko and Beth. Well, you okay. don't know that, but yeah, well, I don't know that, but they're not focused on me, right? You think? Um, well, if you, you'd have to take a look to check, but yeah, I'll take I'll I'll stealthily take a look to up the um. Thing. You don't need to roll, they're not paying any attention. You can just see that there are three of them over their backs to you. One okay, of them is I just about Ki to jump across. Do I see Kiko and Phil? You do. You see Kiko doing heroic ninja roll, having made the gap. Okay. And drawing oh, yeah. So you said, like, like one of them is. So just, just uh, so I can see this. So right here in the middle, this is the gap, okay? Yep. So, uh, like, right now the dudes are basically, like, just standing here. Two of them are a bit further back from the gap because they were, tr they were dingy. And like one of them is actually at the gap. This guy over here is just about to jump. Oh, okay. So those those guys are just standing here. This guy wants to jump over the gap yeah. over there, and I'm pretty much what like here. Yeah, you're pretty much that far back. It's okay. one wall piece. So these guys the are like far enough away. They're not like really close to the gap. Uh, no. Okay. However, you could probably still do something about them. Mm. Do you have any concussion? Grenades? How close are they? How how close are they together? Are they standing really close? Uh, they're standing. They're, basically, they spread out. Like oh, okay. this, okay. you know, yeah, like the okay. way two experienced dudes would if they were facing a single guy. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Spread out, they fucking beat his shit in. Yeah, 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 makes sense. Um, hmm. Hmm. is there a is is the roof completely empty? Is there anything to hide behind or to to, to make my way to them behind? Um, there's the, the whole roof is fairly irregular, and yeah. so you certainly there are areas you could hide. Some of it you'd have to actually lie down to achieve, but you certainly could make your way there without being <coughs> obvious. However, okay. the roof is also quite noisy. Because okay. it's all made of old warped wood that's been in the weather for too long. Oh, okay. Hmm. I'm going to I'm going to suggest the following. There is an extremely large piece of wood. Yeah. And a smokestack here. Okay. 
<laughs> oh, okay. So I could technically I could what like pick up the wood and and like. No. You could you could probably try and collapse the smokestack. It looks super rickety. Okay, and the smokestack uh, is is really high or what? Yeah, it's 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 like. Ten... Would it be feasible to crush one of them under it? If you could easily knock one of them out with it, if not, kill him. Okay, then I'm gonna um I'm gonna sneak up to the to the wood stack uh, to the smokestack and try to knock it over to knock out like this guy here. Okay, that's what you're doing. Meanwhile, Kiko, what are you doing? Hmm. Mm. This is tricky because there's a part of me that says that I don't want to just indiscriminately shoot someone to kill them, but there's another part of me that says that they, they, they're going after me anyway. Yep. Yeah. If I can make the jump and I'm no good at it, they can make the jump. Hmm. Has Kiko spotted me, by the way? Uh, Kiko can certainly see you. Oh, okay. Because it's pretty obvious to anyone looking this way that a man... Just I... Right, okay. Going with my instinct that I'm always aiming carefully, I'm going to have to make a careful shot to try and uh, see if I can... My aim is to uh, deter them by hitting them with a more glancing wound, but with ranged um, combat, you never know what's going to happen. So okay, no, no, if, you, shooting... if, you make a, if you're carefully shooting one of them in the leg, I'm going to say a success. If your intent is to hit one of them in the leg, then that's yeah, what a success means. Yep. What I do is I add the obs to make to indicate difficulty. Well, and I have, possible... If I'm fine carefully, I have three dice. Uh, what's your uh, by the way, my why skill is, is two. What, okay. what about Ruford? We we skipped Ruford. Well, they can uh, all be done in particular orders. Yeah. Uh, we haven't decided what Phil's doing either. Phil and Ruford. Uh, uh, I'm a little, I'm a little slower, so everyone can go uh, before me. So, Oof. what's the thing I'm running against? Um, well, ordinarily, to hit a target is obs one. I'm going to say to hit a small target is obs two. This um, is going to okay, be yeah. Well, at all, let's have a look. Oh yes. Okay. An arrow sinks into the calf of one of the two men. Uh, this one or this one or uh, one? he's he's, hitting, he's I assume he's hitting the guy he's trying to jump over. Yes. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. Oh. Deterring so, so him this away. Guy, this guy flops over and yells obscenities and is clearly not going to make the gap the jump. But I know how to use it. I say afterwards. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I take it this guy just basically like he just falls like, over. Ah. Like, ah. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, mean, I mean, he was running at the time. Like he, he he took an arrow to the leg and he's literally got, gone down like as would you, you would. would. Would you say it was uh? Nowhere near the, as me. Uh, Nowhere near. Uh, okay. No, I aimed for the near. leg. Like it was ah, a flesh right. wound right through the soleus muscle. Yeah, ah, okay. it, like a like a surgeon, definitely not even for the Nika put someone out of commission forever, Kleiker. He's got fucking morals. I'm not That's taking true. someone out forever. He could. Yeah. <laughs> He's not trying to ruin someone's life of adventuring here. Yeah. Huh. Uh, okay, so now it's his Phil's. Oh, Phil's go. Um, I'm first. I'm going to yell at them. Is this still worth a couple of silver? Uh, okay, this is intimidation. Um, you can do it again. The situation has dramatically I, changed. Because I've said that thing, does and he get a dice from me? Uh, in fact, I'm going to allow the what the what your what the effect of what you did is, Kiko. You've made it a lot easier. His yeah. obs previously was obs six. Mm. I'm going to say the obs now is actually obs two. Ooh, because okay. because one of them has vanished. The other one has just taken an arrow to the leg. They were ex they were not expecting to be in <laughs> in the threat of serious physical harm for whatever this poor kid who's cowering at the back of the fucking roof. He doesn't know what to do. Um, they're just nice. like okay. So it's will again, isn't it? Uh, this is, yes, it's your will, versus OBS 2. Okay. Oh, yeah, Phil. Oh, well, um, you did it, barely. Yeah. The one on the ground looks furious, but he yells to the other two, fucking leg it, lads. And <laughs> uh, the two of them grab him, and then they run towards dragging this guy. They run towards this side, and actually it turns out that you didn't notice, but there's actually a, a steely fat plank leading to another roof. And they drag him across, remarkably nimbly, and it, this suggests to you that if he was going to have made the jump, he would have made it almost immediately with no problem. Wait, so does and, that mean if they move away like that, that my whole smokestack thing like is not going to pan out anyway? Uh, no, it's, this happens okay. as it were, like as you're as you're making this plan and approaching. Oh, this happens. Right, okay. And just and just as they're about to, um, and just as you're about to get towards them, they knock the plank out that that was following them, and it just falls down into the street. Oh, okay. So now, one person in the bottom goes, "Ah, oh, my head!" <laughs> exactly. <that happens. laughs> so meanwhile, so however. Yeah. Rufert, who is making his way to the stairs, Make encounters a hobbling and extremely injured and furious goon. <gasps> this was not what I had planned. <laughs> <laughs> Best name for Rufert, come on. No, however, Rufert is wearing his disguise. So the guy oh. must make an unskilled observation check versus Rufert's disguise. Wait, wait, skill. how much beard does Rufert have? <laughs> Rufo doesn't have a beard. He's, he's an artist. He's not a fucking amateur. And I'm going to suggest to you that this is an impossible role for the guard to make. 
It was an impossible role that he failed. <laughs> so he is convinced that he has just met a woman wearing a kimono in this building for no reason. He has no idea what's going on. Unfortunately, he has Rupert, a, you, a hatred of kimono wearers situation? and kills him. <laughs> this is not what I had uh, what I had uh, thought would happen. So like, oh, hi, baby. <laughs> Rupert, Rupert, can I suggest? Did you, did you fall down the stairs? Dude, you're, you're on a landing. Might I suggest that you put your hand on his back, then shove him back down the stairs? Oh, no. Yes. That's just so mean. <laughs> yeah. Please Am I I'm, I'm on a landing? Oh, I yes, finally got... Oh, is this, no, is this, not is this the step ladder. He's coming up, and the guy, the, the other guy, he was, he was no, landing you, You're both... You're, he's just reached the third floor. He's kind of limping, and you're also on the third floor landing. <laughs> this is terrible. You're just so... Okay, so go, oh, hi, baby. Run up to him. Give him sort of one of those woman hugs from behind. Okay. Hi, yes. hi, yes. darling. And then pelvic thrust him off the... Uh, off the <laughs> okay. A post power test. Um, <laughs> he's mm. poor. Um, what is your power? <laughs> it is not this <laughs> goon's it, I day. Think one or something. No, your your power is at least three. Uh, three, yeah. But you get a plus one bonus because um surprise and because you're not expecting it versus woman. Rupert, the chat <laughs> says try to have sex with him and when he's naked take all his stuff. No. <laughs> Do it, Luke. Oh dear. Ooh. This man is ready. This man detects. Oh, no. Ooh, draw. Oh, defender draw. wins, right? Defender wins. defender wins. So what that means is. Wait, wait, wait. wait. No. But, but, that man literally just fell down the fucking stairs. Yep, and. Bear, bear, with, bear with me. Normally that means defenders wins. However, I'm saying tiebreaker because he's fucking crippled. He just yeah. kind of falls over. He doesn't fall down the stairs, but he still falls over. <laughs> <laughs> he's just like. Rah! You just grab him and he goes. Eh. It just falls over. It, and to be honest, it just looks like his day has been so shit that he looks like he's about to burst into tears, to be honest. I'm not, <laughs> sure, I'm not sure he's ready. I'm not sure he's ready for falling down the stairs again. It's like, not the stairs, please! <laughs> okay. I'm not sure, but... So, now, meanwhile, <laughs> on top, there's just an urchin looking desperately around for some kind of connector between him and a nearby building. So let's see, what is his perception? Is five. Let's see if he can roll the obs three required oh, to, dearie to me, notice no. the extremely thin rope that he's going to have to take. Because he, he knows that you guys don't give a shit. Oh, oh he God, notices it. Did. Wait, is this the same fucking rope I clamped up? No, this is a rope connecting two buildings. Oh, okay. Oh, and, it's, no. and, it, and as far as you can tell, it is a rope that serves no structural purpose. It was tied by people who like to move from one building to another and know how to tightrope walk. Oh, okay. Because um, this kid has the climbing skill. Right. He could do it. It's obs three. He's three. He's trying to do this quickly. No. Okay, uh, it looks like he is moving quite slowly along this okay. rope, and he's looking down. What are you guys so going to do? He's on the rope. Yeah. Well, it's my turn. Um, how close am I to the rope? Um, because if this is your side of the building, you're right. clo um, you're let's say thirty feet away. Oh, oh, okay. So, okay. So, what I do is I I run up to the rope and I shout at the urchin to like like get back here or stop or I'm going to shake or shake you or cut off the rope. Uh, I, I suggest... can pick my I can pick my stuff off of the road off your carcass. <laughs> okay, that is a persuasion roll. As okay, he's I've doing that, intimidation... I'm, as he's doing no, that, gotta... I'm aiming to shoot the rope. Really? Uh... Kiko, that's pretty brutal, man. <laughs> Kiko, that's pretty. He's a good. Grim. He's a good climber. He won't die. Kleiker didn't die when he nearly fell off. You mean he to won't fair, die though, from falling off of the rope? The difference the is he's between two buildings where yes. there's a significant mm, gap. Nothing it's to grab. Literally off. just ground. So Fair he enough. Could try, he could try to grab Fucking... onto some to some Fair enough. O2. Didn't take that into consideration. I won't do Fair that enough. then. Okay, okay so I've got a persuasion skill. Of... What you could do, Kiko, is you could yell something intimidating to make him stop moving. Well, but I'm already persuading him, so. Well, in that case, if I no, shout something, if I shout there. something, okay. if I shout something, you get a dice from me. Do I? Oh, uh, th th that would be a helping dice if you had the same skill. You don't have the persuasion skill. Damn it. However, you yeah. can try a beginner's luck intimidation. To Certainly. See if that works. What is it based on, Will? Uh, it is based on your dice versus his will. He's got four wills, so I'm going to roll his four will versus the okay. doublet. As what Wait, so, so what about me? So I've got persuasion. What's going to well. happen is the result of this will determine how easy the persuasion is. Oh, okay. Okay, so well, look at that. Two successes. The kid gets one success. Oh! So this means that, that you succeed because the obs was only one. And you, and you make the kid freeze. He freezes. So he basically he, shouts like, "Get do what he says," something like that. Well, yeah. he yells something like, "I'm gonna shoot you!" And the kid turns around and sees a guy with an arrow knocked, just going, oh, And, and like, you shout oh. something as well, and he's like, "Oh, bugger!" Right. And this is the and point I, where Kiko begins, where Kiko begins to negotiate. Yeah, and I, I begin like I say, like, "Come back over here, or we are gonna shoot you or knock you off of this rope. We want our stuff back." 
you know, like we 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 don't want to kill you, but we can get okay, our stuff this back. This is pretty from easy. It's Ops one. Kid's shitting himself. Okay. Oops. He 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 just like nods, scared, and turns back around and makes his way back towards you. Okay, as he comes towards me, I I grab him by the arm, pull him onto the house, and then just like take him into you know like a like a little arm lock. And back. then taking the previous right, session right. we did, he slits his throat with a rapier. No, wait, no. <laughs> no, no, do I don't. That's what he did last okay, time. I, the blood I, of the I urchin called to runs like, down I, Kiker's hand. <laughs> I call to like I call to Kiko and Baffrin as I as I hold him and I tell them to come over here and help me with the kid. Okay, wait, that... so are you guys gonna gonna hazard the jump? No! I'm going to okay. go I'm gonna walk down and then walk back up. Okay, me, did you me say there was these um the planks there. Would they actually span the entire... You, you could easily find a plank that would span oh, the gap. Oh, there we go. That wouldn't be yeah, so Yeah, I'll bad. go do that since I've got decent I'll strength. wait for That's that. Easy. Yeah. It's, you don't need to do a perception test. You've got too much time. It's clear, that, uh, it's clear that you're going to do that, then I'll wait. Okay, so you get a plank across. You make your way over to Kleiker. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, Rufin is just sitting, comforting the poor guy who's just crying. He's like, oh. he's like it's okay, man. It's okay. It's okay, by the way, I've got to push it down the stairs again. I want another roof, roof action. Okay, well, you've got to the roof. I mean, the guy is just, he's given up on life. I don't think he's going to pose anybody any threat. Okay. So I'm just holding the kit then, yeah? Yep. So is anyone coming over to help me with yeah, the kit? Yeah, um, roof, uh, Kiko and Phil are both coming over. Okay. I found a plank. A plonk. Oh, you found a plank. I want my flint steel. Isn't there, isn't there Phil, Phil Sieg uh, wearing a lot of uh, armor and shit? He's wearing the light chainmail. Will the plank hold? Yes, it will. Chainmail's not hugely um, heavy, and these planks are fairly large. Phil is fairly fat. You are correct, but even in this case, his obesity cannot beat solid teak. <laughs> Rufin attempts to obesity game me to death. <laughs> <laughs> Do not I'm worry, we will meet again. We may meet again, you to death at some point. Okay, your, on a roll uh, of one. Is... Okay, on a roll of one, the plank breaks. On a roll of six, um, Rufin falls down the stairs. <laughs> oh, now, both now of you, you escape this now you day. see, be, be careful, Rufus. You never know. You may meet a Cthulian cat. What? It'll Cthulian? destroy you. Oh. Okay. Uh, so now you guys, three of you, plus Rufus, four of you, uh, are now going to negotiate with this fucking urchin who's just like... Well, and by negotiate, you mean we take all the stuff and he can be happy if, you know, we don't beat him up. Okay, you I'm take not going to beat him up. Okay, you take the stuff back, and he's just, yeah. like, fucking solving now. He's like, they're gonna fuck... By the, by the way, gentlemen, with that, I would say that I've been streaming this for one hour and ten minutes, and we literally just managed to catch the urchin and not die, so I think this is actually a good time. Well, okay, yeah, in that case, we can we can wrap this up. I'm going to yeah. tell you that you you guys should let him go. Yeah, like I said, we, we should let him um, go. I'm going to warn him, him that if he tries this again, I'll mark him in a way that he'll, no one will, everyone will know he's a thief. I raise a <laughs> skeptical eyebrow. That's dark. Gonna, gonna put his hand, so gonna put his hand into tar. Every time Phil Sieg, the intimidating, says anything, I always imagine him with a knife up his ass. <laughs> but to be fair, yes. what's more intimidating than knowing the man who's talking to you gives that few shits? <laughs> like, literally, he's like, I could shit right now, and my shit would have a knife. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, I let, I, I let the kid go, I give him, like, a slap on the back of his head, and I let him run off. Okay, he just fucking goes off. Yeah, and then I give high fives into the group because. Okay, we... I'm sorry, I'm putting my friend as... steel back in my bag. And as your hands meet for the high five of urchin catching, you mysteriously are teleported back to your home realm. Wait, I didn't high I five. I get to keep the kimono. <laughs> <laughs> the only question he cares about. Bye. That would be the funniest introduction for Rufus's character. He wakes up drunk in an alleyway and has a kimono. If you want to, when the campaign actually starts, I could rule that you start wearing a kimono drunk. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> Fantastic. How on okay, earth are going to get everybody else dressed like that? We don't let's know. Let's do it. Okay, that's that's how Rufus is gonna start the campaign with the kimono. Oh no! Well, nice. it won't be a kimono because that's Japanese. Obviously, it'll be culturally appropriate. <laughs> like culturally appropriate, it would be a kimono <laughs> or kimono. Kimono. Oh no! Okay, so do you guys want to take any tests away from that, or shall we just say that that was a, a fun well, flex? This was just the touch okay. session. It never happened. Okay, it never happened. It was yeah. like 
Yeah. It was oh, all a dream. I achieved Even as you wake up, that. you feel a terrible sense of loss as the experiences flee from your mind. Who were these strangely handsome and arousing cross-dressers? I, Why was one wait, man so wait, slow at climbing? I achieved things. In, my character achieved things in life. Now he has to wake up to the fact that he's an outlaw and a failure. That is the nature of dreams, Kiko. They show you what you can't yes. have and then take it away from you. Yeah, they, they show you the, your wonderful dreams of trying to shoot a 13-year-old off of a rope. Now, okay, my character gentlemen. thought about it and then thought better. He didn't actually ever do it. Okay, That's gentlemen. True. So, Judson Pont, Dominique Prick, Clayker Clayerson, <laughs> and Phil Sieg, a.k.a. Siegfried, um, have succeeded in their mission to win at dreams. And thus, as their eyes close or open as they wake up, um, this dream must come to an end. Yeah. That is terrible. And with that, we thank you uh, for watching. We hope you had fun. And uh, we are going to do a proper session. This was all completely impromptu, set up by Luke, who just kind of took all of this out of his out of his. Uh, he's head. lying. It'll never come. <laughs> he's lying. I'm lying. Like, he's he's planned this for like, like planned this for like two weeks. Like so. a deal. How could I have come up with a thieves guild and an urchin? What creates a genius <laughs> is this? Oh my God. I mean, Michael Bay should just contact you and be like, yeah. urchins. But anyway, yeah. in the future, we will uh, we will play this for real with our real characters in a properly thought up setting that might involve urchins and thief kills. We don't know yet. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Luke, Luke makes proper settings. I oh, I yeah. don't know. This setting is going to be nothing but dicks. Literally yeah. everything will be made of dicks. <laughs> and with this, the proper way to make the stream come to an end. It's a flip the table. Ah! Good night, everybody. You're picking bye, up bye. all the dice. <laughs>